Now today I'm going to show you how to get some settings set up on this program is called EPSXE160, which is a PlayStation 1 emulator. And um, in order for it to work, there's a few things that you got to do. All right, we're going to just open that file right now, the EPSXE160. Um, so as that's opening here, um, first of all, see these controllers right here uh, that are that I just clicked on. That's what you, that's what you want to open, okay? And just go ahead and run it. Um, there's a few things that you gotta gotta download, and um, you notice in the somewhere in the margin or on the more info. As far as this video goes, there's websites that I've posted, so you're going to have to go to those to get the downloads from, okay? One thing in order to um, actually play the game is you got to have the BIOS, okay? And this session, to play them, all right? To play actually any game or a CD-ROM. See, there's things you have to have on there before, okay? So we went to this website right here. And um, all you do is just click download now. Okay. And there's one thing that there's there's several things that we need to download, and this is actually one of them. Um, and I'll show you. And this is true for every single file. First, we're gonna save it. And um, uh, it's kind of taking its time right now. And I'm gonna go to um, wherever my um, emulator is my PlayStation PlayStation 1 emulator is and in my case it's e it's in the desktop so I just double click on that and I save it into the plugins folder whoops uh, oh I'm I, I'm sorry not the plugin um, the bios folder all right and I already have one there, but I'm not going to redo it because I've already done it. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to click on that folder once you get it all saved in and everything. And um, you just have to click on the folder and look for the bin file, which looks like this, the one I just clicked on. Um, you'll have to cut and paste that into the BIOS folder where I'm at right now. Okay. Well, we're gonna show you another example, so I can, um, so you can really get the hang of it. Okay. Now we're gonna download something else now. Um, and this is actually for the CD-ROMs to work. All right. And there's a certain now. Now at this time, I need to punch in like a four, four characters to verify that I'm a human and not a computer itself to uh, let's see okay I'll I'll be right back okay now we're gonna I'll show you what to do from now on here these next two next two downloads I'll show you you wanna save this and we're gonna go to that emulator EPSX E 160 let's go to plugins and we're going to save it in in the plugins folder all right and now um thing is doing that we're going to go we're going to go ahead and go to the to the f the emulator folder and I'm going to go ahead and um, go to the plugins folder again and that new thing I just downloaded, which should be right here, okay, I'm going to double click on that. And see that DLL file? In an earlier video, I talked, earlier modern technology video, I talked about plugins and DLL um, files. I just cut that, just go back, and I paste it there. And in my case, yeah, that that's what I thought. I already have it, so. I'm just going to say yes to all. All right. Now that should have um over have overwritten the file and which is good. All right. 
Now I want to do the same thing with this other file that I got on here as well. Okay, same website we're at right now. And we just do the exact same thing we just did, but only just a different file. Okay, now the same file type, but I, I'm not going to go through that. I'm, I'm going to assume you can do that now. You just simply click on this link and um, you just punch in that code that comes up here. All right. I'm going to assume you can do that. Okay. So it's just self-explanatory from here. Okay. Now the next part I want to show you is how to configure things. All right. So I I'm going to close most of the stuff for simplification. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... Um, the actual emulator itself here. I'm going to go to config, go to video, and one of those files that you downloaded should be there already. Okay, so I'm going to go to configure, and I got everything configured the way I'd want to. So, what I want you guys to do now is just pause the video and look at the configurations. Okay, so I hope you can see them okay. All right, I'm going to assume you can. All right. But if you can't, all you do is just hit the configure button on that other dialog box I was just at, all right? And just hit OK, all right? Just hit OK again. Now go to CD-ROM and do the exact same thing. Whoops. Oh, there we go. It's in this dialog box right here, all right? OK. Now and the BIOS. Now the BIOS should be there too. Okay, and um, just hit OK. And I hope this helped. Um, may God bless you all and have a very, very nice day. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, I'm, I'm more than willing to help you guys out, but just let me know. Alright, see you later.